Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you all had a nice Christmas and a happy new year. Uh, as you can see, the bike's in a sorry old state again. I'm going to put it all back together and see what's uh, going on. See the carburetor's over there. Uh, the fearing is down there, but you probably can't see it. Petrol tank's down there. Air filter's down there. Yeah, it's been a while, uh, about two or three weeks, two or three weeks break for Christmas, uh, so you've all probably forgotten about the last video, so here's a uh, previously on Johnny's XJ. So as you can see we've started stripping again, now we've got it back in the shed and I did notice in here when it was like this hanging up there were little droplets of water floating on the top yes that doesn't sound too good does it so what i want to do now is get all the carburetors off try and keep the fuel in them and check the bowls see if there's any water droplets in there so yes it's very annoying when you get problems like this not just for me for the viewers as well i suppose like the cdi unit you can't really test that you've just got to replace it and the uh, starter solenoid thing for the ignition carburetor or whatever it is you can't really check that either you've just got to replace it but you can't keep buying parts like that and replacing them can you float balls off and it was a lot fuller than that uh, there's absolutely no water droplets in there whatsoever some little bits of grit at the bottom there but I don't know Get another one off shall we okay that's the ball from number three carburetor which i thought was running cold there's a bubble there but no, i don't think it's a water droplet This is the pilot jet of number three. And it looks blocked. Again. These ones are alright. Oh no, it's not it's not blocked. So I can't really see any problem with the carburetors again. took the spark plugs out this is number one seemed perfectly fine to me grey brown tanny colour perfect number two just the same grey brown tan <coughs> number three excuse me just the same browny grey tan but number four blacky dry sooty so looks like something's going off with number four with the richness you're too rich boy wish I was as rich as you so let me have a think Okay then, we did say we didn't uh, 
we couldn't see anything wrong with the carburetors, but uh, on closer inspection, this is number one, two, three, four. <coughs> that number four is the one that's burning really rich. And if you measure the float heights, try and get them so they rest properly. Trying to push it down at the same time, trying to get close to the. What I'm trying to do is get this. That's on the carburetor body, and I'm trying to push this till I touch the float, and then take the reading on there. Make sure it's set to zero, and then get the float so they're resting on the needles just before it touches. One is 11.49, but if you go to number four, just before it touches, it is 12.50. So what we need to do is, I don't know if you can see, there's a little tab inside there, but I'm sure you already know. Just get a little screwdriver and to adjust the height I would say that wants to go down slightly that little tab so let's try and adjust it down slightly and then go from there just get a little tweak not too much and there we all know that one is set exactly the same as that one. So I'm pretty sure if it's flooding, it's going to be burning too rich. So hopefully, that might be part of the problem or be the problem. Fingers crossed. I'll just say when you're tightening up uh, Jubilee clips or whatever with your screwdriver try not to stab yourself in the hand because it fucking hurts It's also funny to notice that on number 4 carburetor number 4 cylinder which is burning rich where the vacuum pipe goes to. <sighs> Very interesting. Okay, so uh, this is where we're at at the moment. Bike almost stripped naked again. Uh, I've taken these pipes off. You know, these what go up up into this thing, connect onto there, just to check them sort of thing, I'll try to push them on harder but uh, notice the gaskets around here, we're not too good so I pulled one off and tried to pull the other one off and uh, wasn't very successful so I've uh, been online don't exist on eBay been online to try and find them from the specialist places and I can't work out whether they're £18 for two or £18 each and I'm not paying £18 each for them and I'm not even sure that's a problem so what I've done is bought some O's, heavy duty O's. What I'm thinking is eliminating those induction pipes and making my own induction pipes out of rubber and Jubilee clips. So, you know, just got to stick that on there hopefully and then 
measure it to size, stick it down there, do the same with that one. See where we go from there, so that's what I'm doing now. Then just cut them to size, stick them on like that, but put some Jubilee clips on them obviously. Let's make three more of those. See what happens. clips on okay so that's one let's try the next one that's two see if we can get to number three Let's try number four. And that's number four. So that's this side done. Okay, just hope it works okay. Shouldn't think there'd be too much problem with the heat from the engine. So I know they were metal before for some reason, but not rubber. So hopefully the heat doesn't do any problems, but it is pretty heavy duty pipe, as you can probably see. About a five mil thick maybe more than five mil so let's go and do the other side okay let's see if we can get this side off that side off.
that's that side done. Hopefully that is a reliable fix. Soon find out, won't we? Well, so I guess that's it. Christmas is all done. Finished. Today is Boxing Day. Uh, what did I get for Christmas? Let me show you. Well, we got a set of these. Indeed, they does. That nice for the XJ. I've already put one on. There's the one I've put on. Wiggle, tickle, tickle. Just got to put this one on. Then we've got to put the ones on the green back. I think they go like that, but this is for that side, the other side. But to me, they seem a bit vulnerable. I don't know. I was thinking of putting them on like that. So they're on the inside. I don't know. I'll have to see. Here's the other one for this side, it should go on like that. That's it. Just stick your bolt through there, but I don't know, it just seems a bit sticky hearty. It's a bit sticky hearty, isn't it? What else did we get? What bike related? Actually, it's very useful for me, I should probably know. You probably know what it is. That oil filter ratchet remover, oil filter ratchet remover, oil filter that you can remove with a ratchet. Uh, yeah, know what I mean. So I've got that for my oil services. Because as you know, I have a lot of trouble trying to remove my filters. Uh, what else we got? We've got some I tensile hand bolts. Six mil thread. I'm sure, they'll come in very handy on the uh, CBR project. What else have we got? Got some electrical gizmo. I'll probably make a video of doing this. All it is is a 12 volt auxiliary. You know, plug your sat nav in there or whatever. And uh, two five volt. USB sockets and you can just stick that on your angle bars or wherever you want you can take that off stick it somewhere else so that'll be going on the bike so I'm trying to put a sat nav on the bike as well so this bike will have the uh, ideal touring stuff to have all the boxes and it'll have a auxiliary charging system and it'll have a sat nav and hopefully a phone holder see if we ever get it running right so as you can see the bike is back together, I have had it running with the trusty K-Line drip, uh, I don't know, it's hard to say when you're just running it, it seemed alright, so when it dries up it's not very nice out there, so when the weather dries up I'll take it for a spin and see how it runs then. So uh, that's about it for this video. Got a few bits for the next video to fix to my bike. And we go over here where you can see me. Make sure I don't fall over anything and break my neck. Yes. Hope you all had an over. Uh, yes. 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 Hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I hope you all all had a happy new year. Uh, it's not new year yet for me, but you know, this is in the future, no, in the past. This video is in the past, you're in the future. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully next week we'll find out whether it's running right or not. 
and uh, take care, ride safe, drive safe, fly safe and don't forget to like, share, comment, please leave a thumbs up and did I say subscribe? I can't remember if I said subscribe, but you know, it's up to you if you subscribe. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't, don't. But all I can say is, it doesn't cost you anything just to click the button. Even if you don't want to watch me, just click the button, go. And uh, see you next week. See you in another life, brother.